Hello? Okay, can you... All right, now I can actually read the chat. Can you guys hear me? All right, that's fun. Okay, the plan is to uh, just doing some drawing and Google Sketch up here. All right, that's fun. Okay, the plan is to uh, just doing some drawing and Google Sketch up here. Okay, that's not good. I'm going to read this. Hang on, I'm still uh, learning this here, so figuring it out. Okay, no more echo. I fixed that. See, I'm reading this on my iPad, which is next to next to the. All right, so this is a little slow going. I'm actually still figuring out what I want to do. I At least I'm happy with everything here. And it, it took a while to figure this out. So this is the plan. I want to get a roof over this entire building and get a little more space on the top of it. So this, this is what I want to do. Um, so when we're in here... Okay, so I guess I should do this. The weather is, it's winter time, so <laughs> there's snow on the ground. Yeah, this might, this might be insulated. Trying to respond to your guys' chats. Now, at least I can actually... Uh... Yeah, no, I'm actually going to have this stamped by an engineer. But as far as weight of the snow, I mean, it's you know, it's going to be all I-beams and stuff. It's going to be strong. The tube truck frame. I said someone just asked about that. Um, actually, that's we're kind of working on that right now. I got this other guy's helping me with it, so hopefully that's happening. This is kind of a slow process here, so. Wow. 
ماده The roof is the well. One, I want more space in this thing, and two, this this flat roof has been leaking, which I know that's not a big deal. I could fix that, but it's I I want I want to do this anyway. I think it'd be cool. I want to do that. This is going to be metal roofing. Levi is good. He's right next to me. There's audio, right? You guys can hear me, right? Am I going to have solar panels? No, I am not. I like having electric. Electric is cheap, too. I mean, that electric bill is like nothing. Okay. I, I mean, I don't want to just continuously talk about nothing. I, I can't believe how many people are watching this. Like, pressure's on to be really proficient with SketchUp. <laughs> yeah. 
there. Right here. This is the line we're missing. Bam. Nope. See another one. I guess reading this chat. And doing this at the same time is harder. Oh, here it is. Okay. Hey, uh, what? All right, all right. I'll talk. Um, right now I'm trying, like I'm trying to figure out how to delete this out of here, and it keeps selecting the whole thing. So there's got to be an open line somewhere. I'm not seeing it though. See, I don't have a ton of experience at SketchUp, but you know what I could probably do how about this. There we go. Look at that. All the way across. Now we got a skylight. Hang on, let's close that skylight in.
Yeah, I guess I could keep talking. What am I going to say? Doubt me out. Can't believe. All right. So, all right. I want to put like a curved, a pitched roof now. Like th there's some errors in here, but I'll fix that later. So I want to do like a pitched roof this way. Now, I guess it should be the same. I don't know how steep to make it. Let's go. All right. So let's do another upright. Right here. All right. Yeah, let's do it in line with this one. That makes sense. Let's do another one here. Match this one. I get the corner. I got it. Delete that. Okay, so now these can grow up and match the height of that one. That and that. And now let's make them steel colored. Use our paint bucket tool, get the color we want. Let's do one more post here. Okay. All right, that's that's too high. So let's bring these all down. I don't know, foot, two feet. I decided to put this roof on the castle because the roof is leaking and I want more space and I think it will look cool. So 
it's it's hard for me to read the chats and do this at the same time but so i look at it every little bit All right, what do you guys think of that angle? Actually, that looks like it matches, too. I wasn't even trying. I was just kind of... Yeah, that looks fine. All right, let's grow this. Right, wait, hang on. So when I was come up with this, six inches. There. Now orbit. And we can pull that right across the push pull tool. Match that. Paint it.
No, I, everyone always asks that in a video about that turret. The, the hatch, there's four drains in there, and plus the hatch, like the lips of it are, are raised, plus the concrete in there, like it all pitches away from the, like if the hatch is here, like it's, even though the concrete, it's like an inch higher there. So the four, it, that actually works perfect. Like I never had to mess with that again after I did that. Well, that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's not going to be too expensive. Well, a little bit, but... Yeah, see, this, this took me a while. Like, I did, like, this is like the eighth one before I figured out what I want to do, but I'm actually pretty happy with that because all the first ones kind of looked weird. And then there was ones I kind of liked, but there was like logistics problems of put it to, putting it together. Like there was always load bearing things that were ending up where load bearing things couldn't end up. Like in these, at least on this one, there's not because like, look, we got this main load bearing beam here with these columns here which will continue to here, which then inside has these other columns. So this would be super strong. And then the same thing on this wall, like this will be, you know, the other load bearing wall. Then we'll have the columns there, which line up with the columns on the inside. And there's nothing load bearing in this middle section that's not supported, even though it almost could. I mean, those are, those concrete panels are really strong, but it's um this is a better way and like i'm i have these represented as block walls like this wall here that's not really going to be a block wall it's it's mostly going to be like glass like glass and steel i mean there'll be a little bit of wall so it will probably be stone realistically the little bit of closed in wall i'll do blue stone and then most of it will just be glass and then same thing on this wall because that's where the view are the views are because it's up on the hill so like behind this area is a cliff so facing out this way is a view and facing this way is the view and this is the way this side is facing south so the sun will always be coming in there plus in this in the morning with the sun rises you know the sun will come in this way I may need a bigger crane. You are right. But no, I got an idea about the crane. So what I'm going to do is my crane might just barely reach this, but my crane will put my forklift on the roof. <laughs> and if the forklift's up here, th that will reach this. And, and then I can put like an excavator up here. So I won't even the, need the crane on the ground. I'll have the crane, crane and stuff up to this level. And then the forklift, and I'll probably have an excavator up here too, lifting stuff up. It's going to be pretty funny. Well, and should I get a dog? Let's get a dog in here. And let's go to tools, 3D warehouse, dog. Need like a Levi looking. Oh, there's Levi right there. Download. Where is he? Oh, Levi's kind of little. There he is. Put him inside. 
Levi likes to be inside. Oh, wait. He's trying to float. Not the best that Levi wants to be halfway in the floor. Hang on. There. It's good enough. I, my neighbor's probably going to help him with this. I might get a little bit of help, but mo most of it I'm going to do myself. It'd be nice to have someone that could weld because, like, that takes a lot of time. Like, it's quick to get all the pieces in place and tack them, but then, like, you got to spend like 45 minutes welding every joint. Um, do I want to do anything else to this, or is this? I mean, this. There could be another roof over this section here. But I, I kind of like it open. So, like, this will be like a door here to this outside deck space. Man, I'm kind of done. Let's bring some vehicles in here. That'd be cool. How long real is... I mean, it depends on how hard I work on it. I'm just... Probably do it in a couple months if I wanted to. Give me a tank. Any nice ones? There we go. Look at that Russian tank right there. We need that. I do not know how much it's going to cost the the building, not the tank, and I don't I don't really care. I mean, it it costs what it costs, you know. It's like rotate this. Wait, we need this. This is important. There we go. When I when I submit my plans to the building department, I should leave that tank in there. That'd be pretty funny. Just act like it's not even there. What else should we do? Should we import more stuff? I don't know. Any all right, let me actually look at the chat. Any comments on what I should do here next? Yeah, this I'll probably be stick welding a lot of this because the MIG welder is pretty annoying outside. No, a Russian tank won't break. It probably looks like a T-34 or something. Those are good. Add a rocket. Cannons, yeah, cannon. I want to put some gargoyles too.
They did. Yeah, I might insulate this top. Maybe. I don't know. I don't like it. Doesn't need insulate. You don't need insulation. Just wear a jacket. That's free. Um, how do I calculate snow weight? Well, one, I'm unnecessarily overbuilding this thing like tremendously. So that's not really an issue. Um, but two, I'm actually going to get an engineer to stamp these plans. For, I, I probably don't need to, but um, but so then that way the engineer double checks everything. But it's, it, I mean, everything here is like so oversized. I mean, it's like these six by six quarter inch wall square tubing. They can hold so much weight. These giant I-beams. But you know, I'll run it by the engineer. That's that's his job. That's why I would be paying. You know, I'll probably be paying him a few thousand bucks to make sure it's strong enough. Do I need a permit? Yeah, I'm going to get a permit for this. It's a lot of money to not get a permit. A lot. I mean, a lot. Of, like, it's too big of a. Per I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm going to get a permit. But I ran it by you know a few engineers. I mean, they everything they said was completely fine. So. That roof is going to be a wind seal. Now, I'm going to close this in. So it's not like I'm, it's showing it open, but it's not. This isn't going to be open. This is going to be closed in. Well, I don't have an electric garage door because electric garage doors are expensive. I do have internet there. Yes, I do. Levi is a cool dog. All right. What else should we do? Well, that's cool. I'm done. Let me save this. What? Yeah, I guess I ran out of stuff to, to do. It's kind of... Well, I could close it in. We don't need to see it closed in. Think about Super Chat. I want to get a real tank. They're always so expensive. And then they're always really far away. I think it's easier in Europe or Russia to get a tank. Because there's like there's never any like wars in the United States where tanks were involved. Like in Europe, there was, so you can get them. I'm not going to go solar, maybe. Can you? If anyone knows where to get a tank, that would let me know because I am kind of interested. But it can't be like a stupid amount of money because it is just kind of a... Oh, it'd be cool to have. All right, if anyone knows where to get a tank, yeah, let me like message me or email me because I will, if it's legitimate, not nonsense, I would get it. Yeah, flagpole's so little. All right, let's put a flag on this.
That looks pretty good. Move it down. Not even touching it. All right, there we go. Yeah, that looks nice. What else? This is called Google SketchUp. Man, I'm really happy with this. This is cool. This took a while to figure out. Anyone else have any suggestions for stuff? One more piece of roof wear. I'm going to close it. Like, actually, in real life, this is going to be closed in. Um, I'm not showing it here. So, and it's it's hard to draw. So, I mean, this is going to be windows here. And then that's upstairs space. This, like, this isn't, this wall isn't going to be that closed in. This is going to be open. It's going to be glass. It's going to be glass here. This is probably going to be. I probably won't have these supports here. That almost looks bad, but this is this might be outside, but with a roof over it. So there may be like a wall here, and then the same thing. There'll be like a wall here, and then this will be like a door to come out on top of this thing, which I could put a roof over that, but no, I don't think it needs it. Oh, you guys can't see my mouse? Where is where is snow gonna pile up? No, it's not. The, this look, this roof covers the entire thing. See, that's the problem I have. No, snow piles up on it, and then it heat it leaks because the snow is sitting up there, and then it melts, and it's the pain. So I've been like shoveling off the roof every time it snows, but. Hot tub on upper deck. I have a hot tub like right, like very close to this door. Let's go inside. Let's do some boring stuff. Let's try to fix this.
you know, I think there's a hole here, but let's let's just paint it. There. Good enough. How nice it's gonna be inside. Oh, I like that. This is cool. Wait, in the container now. Oh, how about here's a good thing. Does anyone have any connections for Spancrete panels? I need a few. I need four more to do this loft area right here. And there's actually a guy that makes them locally, but it's like he's so weird about selling them unless you have engineered plans, which I guess I'm going to have them in this case. So it's not really a problem. But if anyone else knows where I can get Spancrete panels, because they use them all the time for bridges and in the city. And I know they're easy to get. It's just like here they're not. Let me look at the chat. Invest money in retirement. Where's the fun in that? All these texts I'm getting. Oh, sweet. Jesse's offering to help. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I want. Hollow pre. Yeah, the top crane. You you gotta know. That's what I used on my other floors. It's hollow precast, and I got it used, but the guy didn't have any more. So I need like they're four foot wide panels, eight inches thick. I need four more of them, twenty five, twenty four feet long. Which shouldn't be hard to get. Jesse Mueller, he just texted me on my phone. Is he in chat? Yeah, he is. There he is. Jesse said he's going to help well. That's going to be cool. It'd be so much quicker with someone helping. But not someone that's standing there smoking cigarettes. Those not enough of them. But this is going to be fun. Wait till we do this. Like, like I don't think my crane. Okay, my crane will reach this on the end, but it won't reach the center. So what we got to do is like we're gonna put the forklift up here with the with the crane, and the forklift can reach 14 feet high. So we'll have like the forklift lifting up one one end of something while the crane is lifting up the other end of it. It's gonna be funny. And I got that uh, scissor lift too. I think that needs new batteries, but that'll, that'll probably be really handy for this. The scissor lift is nice. I would like a bigger crane, but no, cranes are, you know how much money, like a real legit, I mean, my crane's pretty legit, but a bigger crane is, exp no, I'm going to make it work with that crane. That crane's got 45 feet of reach and it's a 12 ton crane. But it's 12 tons, like when you're right next to the crane, like the further out you get, the less it can lift. But still, that's that's quite a bit. Actually, oh, you know what's going to be the heaviest lift here is these spancrete panels, these precast panels. Um, but what I'll do, I'll set the crane up right behind the building in this area. I hope you guys can see my mouse. And then get them and i don't even have to get them out like as long as i get them up i can slide them out i 
I, I think I'm going to do this this year. I'm, I'm probably going to start it soon. Yeah, see, I might. How will I get the snow? I don't need to get the snow off the roof because it's a pitched roof. It falls off. I've seen Japanese mini trucks around here. Yes, I'm going to have an engineer check out these plans this time. Um, I may insulate it at some point, but not anytime soon. How's my Dodge? I need a new pickup truck. That thing is... Actually, it's working fine, but it's... I need a new truck. Oh, my. Well, the top crane, I definitely need a spancrete. That's what I need. I think the crane, I'm actually really looking forward to the crane stuff. Like, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. My next pickup will be diesel if I find a nice diesel one. I mean, sometimes when you see the word diesel, people want a billion dollars for them, and then people messed with the engine and, and ruined it by changing everything. You know, I don't want one. That, I want it. It's got to be all stock. You know what I could do is make this... Nah, that's weird. I could make this like kick out more. Oh, I could put a deck here. Well, no, I don't need that. This is perfect. I guess I should have started this live stream earlier onto this. Yeah, the Kubota's nice. It's nice and tight. It's quick. There's a lower roof overhang needs support. What's... Where is that? Oh, this here? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that... Do... Yeah, that definitely does need support, doesn't it? Um... Yeah, I can... I'll support... I mean, I hope it wouldn't be ugly. I mean, that doesn't need anything massive, but I could do a couple columns, you know, obviously right here. That'd be fine. The hydraulic thumb is nice. I'm, I have a big video planned all about thumbs. Like, the entire video is going to be about thumbs, and I have a lot of stuff to say. So I'll answer those questions in that video. Um. Oh, look at this column right in the middle of this door. That's a problem. Well, all right. I just won't. That will be closed there, and I'll do door here and here. It's no problem. But I do need that column there supporting that beam. That's important. All right, no mouse. I wish you guys could see my mouse. Yeah, I'm probably going to do a brick fireplace in here. That would be cool. Okay, anyone who just joined, yes, the plan is to build a roof over my existing container building. So I'm sure everyone knows what that looks like. Right now, the roof stops at the height of the second container, and then this third container is here, and then the tower is here, and the bridge is here. So the plan is to add all this other stuff on top of it.
Yeah, I do want to do fireplace. Yes, I still have my Hitachi. No, I think it still looks cool. The guy thinks it loses the castle concept because you still have these up and downs. And th in real life, this is going to look a little different because it's like... I want to have this stone. This isn't going to be an ugly block wall. That's going to be stone. It's going to look nice. Yeah, I haven't said anything in a while. Um, what should I say? There is sound. I just I don't know what to continuously talk about. Like usually in my videos, like I try not to talk that much because a lot of YouTube videos, people like talk just endlessly, and it's just too much of it. Do I have a gaming computer? Yes. I think. I don't know. I have a computer. Talk about my new... I didn't get a new truck. What truck? Yeah, This. I mean, this live stream, this was just kind of... I don't know. I'm just trying it out to see if anyone was interested... I thought it was kind of cool. I should have started it earlier as I was drawing this whole thing. Like now we just been kind of 
spinning it around for a while. Um, well, I guess that's it. Any other suggestions for something to do here? Gaming content, huh? I don't know. All right, I'll I'll do this again now that I got it figured out. Um, if if something interesting is happening on the computer, I'll do it. I guess I should go to bed, but it's um. All right, so another interesting thing I I hit it in a few videos where I talked about building a pickup truck that lasts forever, and that might be happening. So some I got someone's helping me with that, and. Yeah, that that'd be cool that to have a pickup truck that lasted like you never had to replace your pickup truck. I mean, these car companies are doing it on purpose. They're making vehicles that wear out in 15 years. You know, it'd be really easy to just build a truck that lasted 100 years. So hopefully that happens. Um it it doesn't need to be stainless steel. I mean, there's different mixtures of metal to make a chassis not rust. Now, stainless is actually kind of weak in cold weather, too, but it is going to be like a tube chassis. Um, the, the, the engineer I'm working with, he, he says we can get it to pass DOT. I mean, he was a little worried about some of the DOT stuff, but... I want to, I want to do it like a diesel electric drive. So essentially, the the truck's driven by electric, you know, like a Tesla or something. But it'd be like a Tesla where you have a diesel engine constantly charging your batteries. So you'd have all the benefits of an electric motor because you know you wouldn't need to change gears, and it, you know it'd have good acceleration and power. But then being that it's powered by diesel, you know, you're not charging batteries or anything. The Chevy Volt works that way too. It's a really cool idea, but the Chevy Volt's just, you know, some boring car. It'd be nice if it was in a really tough off-road vehicle. And especially if it was a truck that was meant to last forever. And it'd be also really cool if the electric motors could do all the braking, like all of it. So you wouldn't even need regular brakes. No, it's not going to be that expensive. I, I, I want to make it a competitive price with with the trucks that are out there now. You know, I'm thinking like in the forty, fifty thousand dollar range. I think the steel the chassis is going to be steel, but good steel, maybe even chrome molly. And then there's going to be like body panels and they may be aluminum or, or plastic or de depending on, or even wood, something. No, gas turbine engines are not appropriate for, for that application. I mean, they tried that. It's like they tried, there's, there are some cars on the road that were turbine engine and it's like, it works. Yes, it does work, but it's just not appropriate yeah the rivian truck is cool hydrogen is almost an option i mean it kind of is i mean if it was good like You'd see it. I mean, how many hydrogen cars are on the road? You know, it's like, like almost it's like zero. Now that I've seen the Rivian trucks and the Bollinger B one is, that's kind of my favorite truck right there. Like as far as electric trucks, but it's not like. 
you, you, know, you see them, but it's not like, can you go buy one? No. But plus the problem with the lithiums are, you know, they're not, they're not really good in cold weather because the batteries can't get that cold. So I think what they're doing to is, is they constantly have to heat the batteries when the truck gets low. So like when, I mean, which isn't a big deal, but you, you need to plug the truck in every night and, and run heaters on the batteries. The weight of the truck is going to be a around a three quarter ton or one ton truck. You guys have hydrogen cars in California? They're just cars though, right? There's no hydrogen trucks or anything, right? See, I'm seeing great stuff in these comments and it's like, then they're gone. Like, can I scroll up? Oh, I can. Yeah, pro I mean, propane-powered vehicles, that's all that is is a gas-powered vehicle just running off propane. I mean, it's not really gas. You're, you're better off of gasoline. I mean, there's a few advantages to propane, but not, not that many. I mean, you can make the thing natural gas, too. With natural gas, you don't have that much power, though. Yeah, well, propane kind of has the power gas does almost. Not, not, not so much of natural gas, but. The reason I want to do batteries is because then you won't need as big of a motor. Because if it was just like a train the mo because you're losing some efficiency when you're going from the the diesel to electric to back to mechanical en energy but if if you have that battery buffer there you know under heavy loads like say you really want to accelerate or you're towing and you're essentially running off the engine and the battery at the same time and then for like once you get up to speed or normal driving the engine is still working to charge up the battery but it, then it can slow down. A gasifier works. I've actually made one before. That's where you run a gasoline engine off of firewood, essentially. And it's it's such a pain in the ass because like you got to start the fire in your car like thirty or an hour before you go to drive it, and you don't have that much power, and it doesn't run good. It was done a lot during World War II when gasoline was scarce. I have a shallow well on my property. Yeah, wood gas I was talking about. I mean, if you want to make a car run on firewood, you can do it. Pain in the ass. My four tractor is good. My yarn is good. I'm going to have all my excavators in one place soon. I'm going to do a thumb video. It's going to be cool. My well is it's like five feet deep. It's a shallow well. But it's huge. I mean, it's like I can fill my hot tub, no problem. You know, I rode by that plane wreck once this year, but it was like three in the morning and we didn't see it. And my friend kept getting stuck. And then we were going to go like that last snowmobile video I put up. Like our plan was to go to that plane crash. And I don't like my, my friend kept getting stuck and it was, I don't know. We didn't go to it. it it's, it's not that it's just a pile of plane parts in the woods. I mean, I guess it's interesting, but it's not like a whole plane in the woods. It's just parts of a plane. And plus, I don't know, like, the story of it. Replacement for the Bobcat. Yeah, I just got that IHI. 
And hopefully the Bobcat 743 will be fixed soon. That's been down since the summertime. It. No, I, I keep I'm responding to these messages here. Okay. The set or the spool valve got stuck in it. I sent it out. This guy rebuilt it. Didn't work. And he just took it out. Like he's rebuilding it again. My my well is five feet deep, but I'm no, I'm not pumping rainwater. It's at the bottom of a cliff. So it's really the water running out of the mountain. So really, no, it's not rainwater. It is deep water. So that's how shallow wells work. Like you put them at the bottom of a hill in a spring and you're getting all that spring water that's running out of the hill. It's actually some of the best w water you can get because some of the people around here have uh, sulfur water. And with the shallow well, it's, it's like really nice, clean spring water. No, there's no skeletons at the plane crash. You know, it'd be funny to get some like Halloween decorations and leave them there. How cold? It's it's. I don't know. It's really cold. Yeah, I have a septic on my property. Board of Health approved septic. It's mountain water, dude. It's clean water. I have yes, I do have a dirt bike. I have a enduro. Enduro is the way to go because it's a road legal dirt bike. That thing is so much fun. Yeah, I might do an underground thing. You know, a lot of people have been doing up here is doing Airbnbs. Like if you build something really cool, like I could even Airbnb this. Like I might actually do that, but. Like, I might do, like, a bunker and Airbnb that. That would be funny. But make it, like, nice, though. Now, I never had a wheel horse tractor. Yeah, Honda trikes are cool. I have a few Yamahas right now. They're fun. Three-wheelers are a lot of fun. I have 12 snowmobiles right now. It is a bit many. There are some dirt bike videos on my channel. I, I want to make another one, though. Because, uh... Actually, I think I'm buying a grader soon. I don't want a grader, but it's really cheap. So, and the guy's delivering it. That yellow Kamatsu excavator, that belongs to my friend. That yellow Kamatsu excavator, that belongs to my friend. He still has that. All my snowmobiles are Yamaha. Except for the one that's not. No, Terramite T5, that's junk. Yes, I do have an overhead crane at my shop. Um, yeah, I don't know what kind of grader it is. It's huge, and it's $3,000 delivered. Like, it's too big to go on my trailer. Like, it might be able to go on my trailer, but I'm hoping it's fast enough to just drive it to jobs. That'd be pretty cool. I'm 33 years old.
Yes, I still have my dump truck. Nah, Dutchess County is too far away. I do not have a girlfriend. Uh, I think I'm going to start this build this year. Did you get your power screwed? Yeah, I still have that. No, I don't have cable. I just have internet. 17 acres. Yeah, my family's nearby. Wait, why is my... This roof isn't going to leak. Oh, I get... Oh, here's a little issue right here. With this. Damn, it's hard to even read. There's so many chats in here. In 1989, I would have been four years old, not 14. Levi is was born June 2006. So he's like over 12 and a half. I take jobs as close as possible. Like if it's over 20 minutes, I don't want it. You think I should do a peek into it? Too bad this one and this one don't line up. I mean, they all, no, see, it's, I don't want to move it up. Well, I could move it over. I guess they don't need to line up, though. All right, here, let's do, we haven't done anything to the model in a while. Let's do something. Let's do a peek into the tower. So this is how, all right, so this is how we're going to do that. First, we're going to find the center of the tower. So this is right there. There's our center. So then you draw this out, but you got to be in the right axis. So we got to keep it on the red axis here. Okay, so there's our center. So now we got to the line up from this. Oh, wait, this might be a little tricky. Hang on. Um, Oh, wait, I want the center one of these. Sometimes doing stuff in SketchUp is a little weird. Like, we got to get these two things to hit each other. But if they don't want to. All right, I think I got it. Yeah, all right, I got it. Okay. So now all right, so all all that stuff can be erased, but that was to get this 
in the right spot. So now we'll take this right to that on f right there. Okay. Now let's delete all this. That one closing. There we go. Okay. And let's paint it. Yeah, I guess that solves the issue with the... Yeah, that's probably what I'll end up doing. All right. Oh, that's called a cricket. Okay. Hey, Jesse, you got any more suggestions on this? Hip breakers. No, I'm not I'm not getting a sawmill. And plus I have a few friends that have sawmills too. So Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean even for this like there might be a little bit of wood in it and I'll I'll just buy Doug furs. You know, I don't know. Like for the rafters, like on that shed, like these will be steel I beams, and then I'll bolt wooden rafters to them. I'll see what the engineer says. I'm gonna involve someone, an engineer. So, I have an exhaust fan on the second story, and everyone's always complaining about fumes, but it's like. I, there's never I've never had any issues with I mean if, if I'm doing something that's making a lot of smoke I'll turn it on but it's never been an issue I mean nothing upstairs is getting like dirty or anything from it I mean a little bit but don't I need an awning over the garage door um I thought about doing that I don't know I mean this I did this so it over see how much that's overhanging like this whole roof covers everything i guess it's kind of tempting to cover this bridge now too isn't it
I am reading the chat, but not all of it because it's, I don't know, reading some of it. Oh, I could use skylights. That would be nice. I guess they can be. I was going to do a metal roof here. You think the bridge should should get a cover? I mean, I guess I could draw it and see what it looks like. Oh, but here. Then we got, I mean, I want to pitch it. How do I want to do this? I don't think it needs it. Does it? Well, I guess if the bridge was covered, everything would be covered except for the tower. Yeah, no bridge car. I'm leaning that way too. I mean, if the bridge was covered, it like it would have to be a peaked, like a double, like a small little pitch thing. But then the problem is like you're pitching it right into the container, so you'd have to pitch like one way there. And then when you got, oh, I guess that wouldn't be that hard. Nah, I, I like it open. It's kind of cool like that. Don't cover. Everyone's saying don't cover. All right, we're not covering the bridge. Okay. Well, the bridge doesn't leak now. It's, you know, it's a shipping container. The, the reason I want to cover it is just it could kind of be more inside space which would be cool. What is leaking? The whole roof is leaking now. That's the reason I want to do this. It's so annoying. Actually, Jesse, you probably know. Like, uh, Well, I, I mean, the reason I haven't like fixed it because I just want to do this. I knew I wanted to do this from the in the beginning. But... Yeah, yeah, this is going to be like glass, these walls. I just I just have them kind of drawn as block to represent it different. I guess I could Let me see what other coatings we have. I don't want to do wood. That looks weird. Well, yeah, that's interesting. No. What else we got? What's stone? What's the stone? Oh, that's like marble. You also have a brick or something. Pile. Oh, you can do glass? Yeah, because that's showing through to the other layer. Okay. Oh, let's draw some windows. That looks stupid. Oh, that's kind of cool. We could do some glass blocks. I mean, not for the whole wall, but. Let's just make that block again, but let's let's add a window. Watch if I just do that. Okay.
Yeah, I like it open. That would be good for a skylight, that color. That looks like a prison now with that one. I don't know. They engineer the span creep panels like for different applications. So I, I don't know the price, honestly. I mean, when I was going to have this original roof done, I needed, so that was covering the 40 foot by 40 foot. And plus it was also the, the shorter panels for inside these ones. And I think they gave me a price. It was like 12 or 13,000. And they were going to deliver and set them too. And I, I didn't think that price was that bad, but I didn't have the money at the time. And then I got a good deal on a couple used panels, but it wasn't enough. And then like, they didn't want to do the job with someone else's panels there. So then I found a couple more used panels, but now in this case, I need to get some, I need to get a few more panels, but the issue was they didn't want to sell panels to me because I didn't have an engineered plans. And I'm going there like, look, if I go to Lowe's to buy some lumber, I'm not like Lowe's and ask me what I'm doing with the lumber. It doesn't matter. But I don't know. The guy wasn't cool with that for some reason. So, um, but pr probably in this case, they, they will be. I, I think I'll approach it a little differently. So. Heavy equipment. Just go on Facebook. Facebook Marketplace. Have you guys seen that? I only recently found out about that, and that's like, it's better than Craigslist. Thing is awesome, because then you know who you're dealing with. And I, I made a deal in there today. That window looks too low. It's like higher in real life. Move it up. And why is everyone always so obsessed about heat? Like, you know, got much money you guys spend heating buildings. That's a waste of money. I don't need heat. Do these windows here.
that. I guess we should be measuring these so they look right. Oh, there's an inside to the containers. Oh, look at that.
I guess I can't think of much more to do to this, so. Oh, I could add these supports. All right, here's something to do. This is going to hurt the looks a little bit, but it needs it. Well, yeah, it needs it. Still do a little. Do four by fours. Do four.
Hey, no, I am trying to respond to people. It's just kind of hard to to do this and chat at the same time. Um, that looks good. I need more columns in that, though. No, Sadie doesn't. Sadie belongs to one of my friends. Um, the reason I had her so long is because that that girl was moving out of she at a house she owned, and then was moving into an apartment temporarily, and then while so while she was in the apartment, I watched Sadie, and then she bought a new house, and I gave her she got Sadie back. But it was it was fun. Sadie liked. Sadie has more fun with me than she does with that girl. Cause Sadie has friends, and we go on adventures. Someone think I have a wife here? If you can read to keep the where's the wife? Haven't seen her lately. I do not have a wife or a girlfriend. I don't know who that would have been. I should I feel like I should measure out the placement of these other two poles. Instead of just putting them randomly. I guess I shouldn't be in the middle of a window. Subaru Girl was not a wife. No, the the girl who owns Sadie has never been in a video. All right, so you know what needs to happen. This wall, we have a a door. Here. Sorry, so this. All right, let's make this window bigger. Let's move this door over. I do not have any employees. Now, every time I, I mean, I've tried in the past and it's like, I've never had luck. Like, like I've had guys who have been good workers and then they stop kind of showing up or they're doing their own thing. Like if a guy's a really good worker, he's going to be doing his own thing. He's not going to be working for someone else. Um, so you're not going to, you're not going to get a guy like that. If a guy is, a terrible worker. Well, th then they like, and then off. Uh, I've had good workers, but then they'll like just stop showing up. Or and then like you have guys that just stand around smoking cigarettes the whole time, and it's like I don't know. Or, or you have guys they'll make one mistake, and it's like you know that one mistake costs you know fortune and and, and labor or something. So it's it's not even worth it. And you're babysitting them. You know, some of them, they don't know how to do anything. They'll lie about their qualifications. Um, you know, they'll say they can do something and then they can't. And then it's like, I'm showing them how to do it. And so I might as well be doing it in the first place. So no, I, I don't have any employees and I'm not going to even try to, I, I don't know. I, I'm just taking jobs I can do myself. I'm kind of happier that way. Could I blast a garage into the side of that rock face? I would love to. It's good luck with that, though. That rock is strong. And it's like, you know, when you get in, when you're breaking into it, it's not, 
you know, the stuff that's above it wants to come down. So it's. I mean, I'll, I'll figure out this layout probably as far as like window and door placement. Like, I'll figure that out as I do it. I, I know that's kind of a weird way to build a building, but I, I, I would just rather put this roof up and then figure out where the windows need to be. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, all right. Someone said extend the f four by four. Instead of extending the four by fours, extend the blocks to the corner support beam. Now... I do and I don't like. Well, I see what you're saying. I don't. Maybe. I mean, these don't even need to be four by fours. These could be like three by three round tubing, and then you'd hardly notice it. I mean, it is. It does need something there. It looks better without the, with the entire building. Yeah, no, two more posts. No, four by four is too light to you. Come on, a four by four square tubing, quarter inch wall is is guaranteed fine for that. Guaranteed. Let me all right. Let me add two more posts. Wait, should I measure it? I measure it. All right, let's do some math here. So we use our tape measure tool. We go from here to 38 feet so if i had two of them would that be 38 divided by Nineteen feet, does that sound right? Oh, I guess it does. Why doesn't that sound right? No, that's not right. It's like in the middle. I mean the no, I know it's ten feet because the building's forty feet long. Put it right right there. Close enough. Right, right here. Right. Right there, we'll do it. Right there.
Yeah, it looks good. I'm fine with that. I'm so the person who asked about structural low cal calculations. Um, I'm gonna have an engineer go over this and do a stamped plans for the whole thing because of the square footage of this program or this this building. It's pretty big, but it, it's so overbuilt. Like I wouldn't worry about it. Like, I mean, kind of my theory was before, like, I'd rather just spend more money making the thing unnecessarily strong than, like, spend the money towards an engineer to tell them how little material I can put into it. All right, that looks good with those in place. Helipad. Anywhere is a helipad for a drone. How many square feet? Well, the thing is 40 by 40. So, I don't, I mean, it's kind of weird because it's like, you know, you got, I mean, it's such a weird building because it's like, yeah, I mean, all right, the footprint's 40 by 40, except for the stuff that's, not not in the 40 by 40 like this eight by eight square and whatever you want to call this the bridge that doesn't touch anything but the very end so you know we got one full 40 by 40 then we got 40 by 40 missing a 24 by 20, 28 whatever that is missing a 24 by 28 chunk then we have another 40 by 40 and then we have another chunk. Well, no, then this isn't 40 by 40 because then it's, it's that smaller. Do I use those container doors? Yes, sometimes. Like um, this door here, like I have a fuel tank in there, so I open that to get to the fuel. Uh, I have like my welders parked in there, so I use that. This one I haven't opened. This one I got a bunch of lumber in there. So I remember I was opening it to get the lumber in there. This one's kind of high. You couldn't really, I mean, it's, yeah, you can open it, but it's up there. Um but it's easier, like, say if you need to get to the second f story, it's easier just to forklift something right up here, and then, then you can get it in, you know, because this, this is cut open in real life right there. So that's how you get stuff into there. So then on the third story, you know, everything just comes in this bridge. This is called Google SketchUp. This is a free program from Google for, it's really good for drawing buildings and stuff. Um, but you, you could do other stuff in it. But it's fun that it's free and it's, it's pretty easy to learn it. I mean, there's a little bit of a learning curve. There's videos that kind of explain how to do some of the stuff. I mean, even just watching me do things right now, I'm sure is somewhat helpful. But it's uh, the way I learned how to use Google SketchUp. My engineer, when we first was working on this building, kind of turned me on to it. That's how we were kind of sharing ideas back and forth. Yeah, I do need some lab puppies. That would be cool. Not Google anymore? Okay. Did I go to college? I went to two years for computer stuff. 
Um, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't that good. The better thing I did was uh, like a trade school that I went to for, I took some welding classes and some auto classes and more computer stuff. And I just took a drone class there. Actually, no, that was at the college. And I, I've taken a few classes. Yes, I like the new IHI skid steer. For um, all right, no, Google SketchUp is still free. You just got to tell them that it's free. What is a certified welder? What the hell is that? I'm a welder. I don't know. Yes, I want a concrete mixer for my skid steer. That would be cool. I might get I mean, They're expensive. They're like eight grand. I want like a big mixer that can mix like four yards. How cool would that be? Like, remember that like that time I mixed concrete in the back of my dump truck? Like, that was cool because I made like a three year, you know, I could probably do like a three yard mix in there. Um, I would definitely do that again, too. Are you planning on putting support beams on the green hanging container? That container is sitting on this end on, on a cliff. Um, as far as needing support beams, no, because when, when containers are stacked up, you know, in those shipping yards and on boats and everywhere, they're only touching each other in the corners. So every time you see a container, the, the entire center is floating. So, you know, just because it's floating in the air, it, that's how they are any that's how they are anyway and that's them loaded heavy too so um i'm not worried about that i mean i may add what am i gonna do i'm gonna add well i'm gonna run this by the engineer and see what he thinks but i may add another column for this tower because i'm gonna cut some holes into it and i want to just make sure it stays a tower I, th I mean, I think it'll be fine, but uh, I may, there's a column here and there's a column here. I may add one more here. I'll, I'll do something. My business was all done by myself. My family was not doing any of this stuff. No, those shipping containers usually don't rust. It's the, they're made out of, it's called court and steel and it, it doesn't it, it's because they're meant to be in like a saltwater environment so no they don't rust but i keep them painted too the problem i am having is with these two right here all the water runs off of these off of the roof and it just peels that paint so i think once once i have this roof over it that will solve that issue Yeah, John, I do like your idea of the skid steer mixer. That is kind of on a list of stuff I want. If the right thing comes up, I, I may get one. Um, like for all the concrete pours I'm going to do here, I'll try to keep them bigger pours. Like, for example, this is going to be a decent pour on top of the bridge and the... Uh, and the Actually, you know, I'm but every one of these blocks is cored. You know, I may get a concrete mixer for this project. Because we all these every block on this project is cored, meaning they're filled up solid with concrete and and they've all been done by hand. Well, not by hand. I have that barrel mixer thing. But you still have to like load it by hand and it's kind of hard. Um if I have that concrete mixer on the skid steer, I have that concrete bucket too which would be cool because I can pick it up with my crane. How about building a glass wall facing away from the cliff? Where would that be? I mean, all these walls are going to be kind of glass. No, I have 17 acres. I want to get more. Um, Oh no, 
make a mixer maybe i don't know be a lot of work the bravo the bravo snowmobile is cool Yeah, the hot tub is working good, Stephen. The control, I did try to unpot that Bobcat controller, and I butchered the thing. It ended up in the trash. I'll trade snowmobiles for a mixer. I don't need 12 snowmobiles. Yeah, there's a, there's a bathroom in here. Levi is cool. I did not fix the exhaust on the green dozer. I have all the parts. I should do it. Do I have any social media? Uh, people follow me on Instagram. So that's... I, I, I focus all my stuff onto YouTube. I mean, that's... If you're following me on there, that's that's where the action is, so... Real estate here, it's, I mean, it's a little expensive, but I mean, it's not crazy. But like, if you go a little bit more north, it gets a lot cheaper. Or if you go, like, if any direction, like, don't go south, it gets expensive south. But going north gets cheaper, or going west goes a lot, gets a lot cheaper, like a lot cheaper. We've been snowmobiling up in like the Andes lately, which isn't that far. It's like a forty-five minute drive, and like. I'm seeing like 50 acre pieces of property, you know, for 75,000 or less than that. I mean, it, they're cheap out there, but it's like, you know, I mean, as far as working and stuff, I mean, it'd probably be a lot harder to do a lot of jobs because a lot less people. My, my taxes aren't that bad. The beavers in the creek. Now, a lot of neighbors didn't like those beavers, so I think they uh, persuaded them to move. I didn't care about the beaver. You will be do doing more tailgate and gravel in uh, in the spring. There's snow on the ground right now. It's winter. I've been fixing stuff. The purpose of the roof is to cover the building. Areas. Which girl? Any I I guess any girl in any of the videos, because there's a bunch of different girls. Um, they are girlfriends.
yes, I run chains on my plow truck when I need them. Usually you need chains when there's ice under the snow and when there's a lot of snow, like a lot. Yeah, 50 acres will run you 120,000. I mean, yeah, that's that's comparable to here too. I mean, it depends on the piece of property. If you get a piece that's got problems, it's cheaper. Like my piece was cheap because it was all hills and undeveloped. You know, a lot of people don't want that because like they see, oh, it's all a hillside. It's, you know, it's not worth anything. But like I carved the road up into it and made it something cool. No more trampoline on roof. Well, I guess I could could have a trampoline on a roof. Yeah, I guess getting snow somewhere where they're not used to snow, people don't handle it very well. Um, As far as making streaming a thing, maybe if there's a good reason to do it, um, the, the few reasons I want, I did it right now is because one, I was drawing this, I, anyone who tuned in later, I kind of finished the thing a lot sooner than, uh, it's been done for a while and we've just been looking at it. I, I, and, um, so I figured people want, and I want to answer questions. So, so that's why I'm doing this. No, Sadie is living with her her mom. But I saw her recently. Well, does anyone have any more? I, it is 3.30 and I should get to bed. Does anyone? Jeez, that's 3.30. All right, guys, I got to get to bed. Does anyone have any final questions or suggestions on this project? I've never put chains on my bobcat before. I've put them on my tractor, and it, it works good. All right, people all saying good night. All right, everyone, good. All right, this was fun. Uh, live chat. I will do it again in the future if there's a need for it. Um, I guess designing something on Google SketchUp or something like that. That's that's a good reason for it. So, um, yeah, and I just kind of wanted to figure out how it worked, and I liked being able to chat with everyone. So that was fun. Um, all right, everyone. Good night. And, uh, I'll see you talk to everyone. I'll try to keep more videos coming out soon. I got a thumb video coming out soon. I got a film. That's going to be cool. And I got an electrical video. I want to do explaining how to properly wire electrical accessories in a vehicle. And what else? And the, all right. Those will be out next. All right. Good night, everyone.